Hey, good morning. How's it going? <laughs> hey, Paul, Kuru. I'm on vacation. Can't get any sweeter than that. Hey, Irish nonsense. How are you doing? There, Bart. Good morning, good morning. No. 977 followers. Amazing. So much closer to the drunk drunk stream. I, I fared the day I will hit 1000. I have to sit here drunk on whiskey. Good morning, Hellraiser. Hey, that's nice. So you're, um, are you um, on, uh, on public transport then, Irish nonsense? That would be cool. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic, Paul. Fantastic. All right. So, uh, give me some topics and we'll get going. Get going, get going. Ugh. All right, cool Irish nonsense. <laughs> there, Bard, yeah, definitely. Badly dressed Mentis, the last villain. All right, look, I will try this today for the sake of not using my son's dice, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's roll and see. Well, I was saying, going to say the la left one, so that's number two. And uh, number two, the last villain. All right. The last villain. There, Bard. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Irish nonsense. Hey, good morning, York. So, the last villain. The last villain sounds really interesting. Oh, no. That is not good. I have to reset my waking drivers. And it's reset. Switch that off. Yeah, it's working. All right, so let's start the, hey, good morning, Tormund. Let's start the timer. By the way, a really good way of um, um, fixing that problem, instead of restarting everything, uh, I found is to um, um, switch off Photoshop switch off the device if it's a Cintiq if it's just a tablet I don't think you need to uh, and then um, go to services you can write in in the Windows search bar services and uh, just reset the reset the driver and then that's that's all you need to do you don't need to re restart the PC or anything Hey, good morning, Michal. How's it going? Well, Schmaze, that's an interesting thing. Uh, the poster is it to be like an art 
poster as a piece of art or is it supposed to be like marketing art? If it's just to be artsy, um, I would continue working zoomed out. Georg, yeah, that's great. That's great that you can do it with the tablets. It's a really good way of instead of um, having to restart the computer. Um, I ha I actually helped the guy, um, uh, a lecturer. At the last IFCC, he was uh, had to do his uh, lecture, like ZBrush live sculpt, and uh, he was in the middle of it and it stopped working. And I helped him out by saying <laughs> that trick. But it's a good one. It's a really handy little one, so you don't need to reset. Schmace, all right. Um, so it's for personal art, uh, like artsy poster. Uh, what I would do then is um, I would just uh, keep working zoomed out, and um, and little by little start zooming in. Um, before you start zooming in, I would. Um, I would start thinking about like what's the um, focal point. Uh, you know, where do you want the eye to be directed? Uh, and you zoom in more towards those areas, um, so that um, you're working the picture as he will see it on the wall, or she will see it on the wall. I don't know the, the sex of your friend, um, but uh, yeah. Work zoomed out as as long as you can, and when you do zoom in, have the the picture on a separate. You can do like windows arrange a new window, and uh, you can have one window zoomed out, and this one you can zoom in. And if you do a change on this, it'll appear on the other one. So you can always have like a zoomed out state so that you can see what you're doing. But don't zoom in too quickly. It's really important that you work the 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 whole picture as a, as as you will look at it. You know, you will never like stand nose to wall and look at the poster, right? You will always look at the poster from far away, and that's the most important read. Uh, and then always people lean in to get that second layer of information. Uh, and that's where zooming in comes into play after after you've worked on it as much as you can zoomed out, right? Um, to help help you with um, working zooming out to kind of maintain edges at places. Um, what's a good thing is to use um, selections. So you can use selections. And that way you can, uh, like, Keep clean edges. Um, Irish nonsense, and I not what I know, and not a, like a broad art ask whatever <laughs> you get answers kind of deal. Well, n not until next year when I have my. Uh, my class, <laughs> my Patreon class. Hey, the businessman. <laughs> no, but uh, my my goal is to have a class next year, where I go through uh, the whole process of designing something, right? And and also I'm thinking of expanding it to illustration, and um, so you illustrate your character. Um, so I'm currently practicing uh, more to strengthening my illustration kind of skill set. Um, because the majority of my work is um, production art, stiff production art, you know, so that you can model from it. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I love the challenge of uh, 
furthering my knowledge. So it's educational for me as well. Uh, Irish nonsense. Uh, yeah, the idea as it is now, my class, is that I will break up the class in tiers and you can um, subscribe to a tier um, without paying for all tiers, you know, so like, let's say, tier one, thumbnailing, and you can just pay for that rather than take the whole thing so that you, you don't need to pay a lot of money at the very beginning, so you can, you know, take one, uh, practice that as much as you want, uh, you know, do what you wish, uh, you can, you don't need to take them in, in order either or all of them. That's what, that's my general idea. Like I want to make like a Patreon school, um, so that you pay for, uh, to help me maintain, uh, myself economically while helping you guys, uh, learn, right? Because time is money. So if I'm teaching, I, I really got to get paid for it. Otherwise, you know, I'd, I'd freelance do illustrations or, or, or concepts for some other company, you know, with that time. So it has to, you know, I have to, I have to uh, earn something on it, right? It's the ugly truth of the industry. But that being said, I'd rather teach and get money for it than, uh, you know, it, it's fun to help. Then I can just, you know, it's no problem. I can freelance on my own and, and uh, hold my knowledge for myself, you know. Hey, Vonda, good morning. Captain Jetlag, Mila, cool. Hey, Nereida, you're new. Don't recognize your nickname. So I'm doing um, Irish nonsense topic today, the last villain. So my uh, my idea is. Um, some sort of winged beast, like the arc, arc, uh, arch enemy. That's the word for it. I wanted to like, uh, whoa! What's happening there? What's all these little? Can you see that dots there? Yeah, uh, completely lost where I was talking. What I was talking about. Yeah, I lost last villain. Um, some some sort of beast. I was thinking of just like a maybe like a kid, like a nasty looking kid. That was kind of what I was going for. But I also wanted to kind of try to um, make it feel like a vulture of some of sort. So I want to like have a nasty hair and. And I don't know, I'm going to experiment a bit. And uh, now that I'm on vacation, I started um, working on the, the next version of 30 minute warm up, the intro and outro, and the, all these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Narada. Glad that you could make it. You're very welcome. That narrator, yeah, that's completely understandable. You know, uh, that <laughs> that's it's not always possible to uh, be a part of it if you have to work. You know, I I, I, I completely I understand. But it's I'm uh, very happy that you did take time to write today. So thank you. It's always fun. Hey, Golden Tigers. 
hi. <laughs> Oh, what was that from? Hi! Hi! What was it? Uh, there was something freaky when they said just hi all the time. Oh man. I can't remember. But it was good. Yeah, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> I don't remember. But it was so funny. Was it? No. I don't remember. I'm just laughing for my, to myself. Stupid. Captain Jetlag, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for my son to hit puberty. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh at his when his voice breaks. Um, yeah, so, uh, today, after the warm-up, as I don't have to work, I will do some um, streaming. So when this is finished, I will switch off and then switch right back up again. Um, and I will start working on an uh, illustration I, I uh, started on yesterday. I took an old uh, sketch and uh, old, old warm up and uh, re uh, redrew it a little bit and I added more to it. Um, so I'm going to be working on that uh, for like a few hours and talking some shit. Uh, if you guys want to, guys and girls want to hang out a little bit more. Um, yeah, so you're more than welcome to join in with that if you guys want to but man it's so nice not to have to work first day I can already feel the sweetness of it it's gonna be good Uh, Nereida, well, the problem is um, I'm gluten sensitive or allergic, um, so I can't really eat it. My stomach just kind of gives up on me um, for a few days. <laughs> so gingerbread is not worth it to like uh, system failure for two days uh, just to eat some gingerbread. But that being said, I will bake um, Swedish uh, like specific saffron buns uh, on demand from the people we will go to for Christmas at. So uh, um, towards the end of the week, I will bake, bake some buns. Uh, but I will also try, I will do one batch of gluten buns with gluten in these uh, saffron buns. But then also one version where um, I will attempt to do a gluten-free version with a uh, gluten-free flour, which you can buy here. Uh, so I'm going to attempt that. Uh, Captain Jetlag, yeah, there's pretty, pretty much non-existent beers uh, out there you can drink. Avon, uh, which uh, which um, which one was that? 
please link me if you if you have it again. Uh, I would love to refresh my mind about what was being said uh, and where. <laughs> but yeah, IFCC was super fun. Uh, it's a really cool place. I'm really looking forward to go there and uh, teach um, next year again. It's going to be good fun. Really looking forward to it. Let's have that come in front. So it's behind there. Yeah. Um, drunk stories, yeah, they're, they're, they're always fun. I mean, I've, I've, I've chosen to do a lot of interesting things, interesting things in my life before I had kids. And so I have a lot of drunk stories. Um. <laughs> Kuro, yeah. My buns are the best. Um, Captain Jetlag, uh, there is a beer, um, there is a list of beers um, from Sweden. They did um, like their. Uh, all the beers that you can buy in Sweden, they did a list of them and they checked uh, the gluten content of them, uh, like the state did. Uh, I was lucky enough to find it. I did some like, some deep, uh, what's it called? Uh, search, I guess, um, on internet and found it. And uh, what, what what's interesting is uh, Corona, you can have a few, um, because it's a very low uh, gluten content in them, but there still is. Um, but what was really interesting was uh, Carlsberg Export, um, the you know the beer. Um, it had so little in it that it didn't register, but it does have gluten. It's just so low in percentage that uh, you can drink it, and I can drink uh, Carlsberg Export without uh, having any reaction, which is fantastic. So um, unfortunately, not a lot of bars have it, but stores have it. And so I can at least enjoy a beer now and then by, by, uh, by buying those. So that could be something you could tell your friend that uh, Carlsberg Export is more or less uh, safe, unless she has or he has uh, celiac then she should just stay away from it completely. You can't have beer then. Uh, golden tigers. Yeah, there's a lot of food you have to avoid. Um, unfortunately, I I cook a lot alone, <laughs> at home, <laughs> not alone. Um, and at restaurants, I just I know because I cook a lot, like what what is in certain foods. Um, so you know, you know, like pure dishes is usually what I go for. You know, like meat without uh, specific sauces or, or things like that, you know. I can kind of decipher what's safe by knowing how, how you cook it. Um, but yeah, it's not always fun. Like certain foods, you know how tasty they are. Like sometimes you just wish you could have a, have a dirty pizza, you know, like, oh, that would be so tasty, pizza and a beer, but you're like, nope. But there, there's, in general though, staying away from gluten is a lot easier for your system. In general. There is a significant difference. Rather, whether you uh, subscribe to the, the idea that to have a gluten-free diet, it is a significant difference when you do 
uh, stop eating wood. But the problem is gluten exists in so much uh, because it's used as an additive to thicken things. Paleo diet, it just means um, Paleolithic diet, you know, like what cavemen ate. So very uh, clean food, but um, theoretically what's a better diet is the ketogenic diet. is um, is more or less the Paleo diet, but... Uh, more scientific I have done a lot of research about that uh, due to my daughter uh, daughter and uh, mother-in-law um, so I've researched a lot about <laughs> things like this Yeah, you, theoretically, you should stay away from grains um, and nuts. Just clean food and certain vegetables. You shouldn't eat all vegetables. Uh, I think you, theoretically, you should stay away from nightshades, like tomatoes and these things, peppers. eat a lot of uh, fats, meat fat, and uh, things like that, not, not butter, yeah, it's a complicated diet. Hey B, B. Mitkov, thanks, good morning, welcome. Golden Tigers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Captain Jetlag, it sounds like your friend is a celiac. And uh, that is uh, actually, you can, you can die of, of it if you don't take care of the celiac disease. So... I'm, 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 you have to respect the fact that he doesn't want gluten in his food then, because it, it triggers an autoimmune response in his body, which more or less kind of eats his own uh, insides, or it gets infected. So that's some, some serious, serious disease that you have to have under control. Luckily, I'm not full celiac, so I, I don't get the autoimmune response uh, fully, I think. But I do get a response out of it. Uh, so I don't want to keep trigger, triggering the inflammation. Because I do get the inflammation in the bowels or intestine. So that's not nice. I shouldn't really have beer either. I should completely stay away from it, but it's too tasty. So I take the least amount of poison I can. <laughs> so stupid. What can you do?
<laughs> Gold and Tigers. <laughs> That's good. Captain Jet Flag, yeah. Poison, yeah. Alcohol shouldn't be in the body at all, actually. I think meat is important for the body. You can argue um, about quality of the meat in uh, modern days. You know, like how much antibiotics is being pumped into the animal while being while it's being alive. Um, you know, how healthy has the animal been, and if you eat it, what does that tran transfer into your body? You know, that is definitely a point that you can. Uh, you should be aware of, but that extends equally to vegetables because they spray vegetables with way stronger toxins than you would be able to to put on an animal because it, they would get acid burns, um, and certain foods are not, you know, like vegetables. You have to take into consideration also what you're eating. Uh, for example, like majority of tomatoes, um, they are ripened by gas. They're picked green, transported, and then uh, ripened by gas. And uh, all the chemicals used to, to grow them. And like there's this list about uh, the most uh, pesticides heavy foods, and it's the foods that we most, uh, that's consumed mostly because it has the highest demand and it needs to you know get out quickly so they they take a lot of shortcuts uh, with pesticides and chemicals and ways of growing them and it causes causes the vegetables to not be so uh, so good for you even though you think you're like oh vegetables five a day Vonde, I have a like one and a half meter of sketchbooks all <laughs> filled. I have tons of sketchbooks. I have, I have stopped scanning them uh, because I yeah I just, I just fill them up and store them in a bookshelf. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in in food, unfortunately. Um, for example, you know, there's this, these arguments about um, organic, like, oh, organic uh, is, is worse, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's not. It's like, it's especially in Europe, if, if, you, if you label something with the organic label, it's ver verified and uh, strictly um, controlled amount of uh, pesticides being used is still using pesticides but it's it's um, certain pesticides that's not being used a certain processes to grow food um, that's not being used in order to be able to be labeled organic right they have to be tested they have to be the process has to be verified uh, and, and they're constantly I think every year having to go through the verification process so um, that's why also uh, I think I think I I try to buy everything organic, uh, especially European food. I mean I don't in America you can say that something organic without having being forced to uh, to uh, go through verification. And I I rather not eat food that I know has less chemicals in them, uh, you know, verified, less harmful chemicals. They're still going to have to use chemicals. They're still going to have to use pesticides, but it's the least harming ones out of the bunch, you know. I don't mind paying a little bit extra for it. And I also saw a really interesting documentary about why it costs more. It is because um, it's less 
they're uglier and there's a higher amount of wa waste because um, not all organic products are being able to so be sold in stores because they're not as pretty or as round or you know it's, they're still healthy but it's just they ha so much has to be thrown and being used for cattle food or, or, or farm food you know for the animals so it's a lot of waste and that's why the price goes up as well so that's a really interesting was a really interesting fact I, I saw I was like, yeah that makes sense though like especially when they show the high amount of waste just because it doesn't look nice in a, in a store Right, so time is up. Uh, thank you very much for the topic, Irish Nonsense. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, so, uh, if you guys want to continue <laughs> to be uh, uh, hanging out with me, probably more ranting and weird conversations about food and whatnot, uh, I'll be just uh, back up online um, after the stream. I just need to pause it so it just becomes an episode. Um, So I'll uh, just I'll be right back up again. Um, so thanks everyone for coming, um, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning on thirty minute warm up. But I'll uh, I'll do a not a thirty minute warm up stream after just after this. All right, bye all. See you soon. <laughs>